Kovartia. Please remember the name because you will not find this type of a stone elsewhere than in Armenia. Our driver is joking, he says like, you need to confess your sins to see the holy mountain around. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you should know that it's here, 8 kilometers from the street, that's from our last mountain. After you can uh, and check whether you can see it uh, or no. Let's enter. Okay, before entering the complex, let me tell you about the monastery complex.
Thank you. Wow. What is this? <laughs> wow, grabe. <laughs> One time when he went to a village, he saw a girl and she was uh, filling the jars and um, like uh, she was giving the water to horses. So he went to her and he asked for water. The girl looked at her, uh, at him, and she started to fill the jar with the water and pour it on the ground. And uh, the, uh, like seven times she repeated it. So the king got angry and he asked, I'm a foreigner and this is the way you treat foreigners? And the girl gave a smart answer. She said, you are coming from the far place, you are sweat and it's not good for your health to drink cold water at once. So the king was amazed by the answer and he started to follow the girl in the village. So he uh, saw her behavior and how people treated her and she was very kind personality. He fell in love and once he was back at his castle he ordered his servants to go and propose a girl with precious jewelries and oils. When they reached to the uh, girl's house, uh, they asked them, what handcraft or profession does your king know? Everyone was shocked and they said he is the king himself, what do you expect him to do? And she said that she would not get married to a person who doesn't know any handcraft. So they passed the message to Vachagan and in a while Vachagan decided to start carpet waving. Within six months he waved the carpet with a capital letter A because the, girl, the girl's name was Anahid. Um, he just waved the capital letter A on the carpet and he sent it as a gift. When the girl received she agreed to get married. Mm -hmm to him and they lived happily and after. But the important part of the story is that a regular time when Vachagan went to the village, he was kidnapped by Kurdish irregulars because they didn't recognize the king. So he asked them do not kill him because he knew how to wave a carpet and what they did that time. Kurdish irregulars were kidnapping people from the villages. They forced them to live in the caves and they were selling their goods and earning money. So when Vachagan waved the carpet, he asked the servant to take the carpet to the castle because only Queen Anahid would give the proper price for the carpet. So he took the carpet to the castle. When Anahid opened the carpet, she read a message, the location and by who people were kidnapped. So she gathered an army and she went to save her husband and local community. We name it Tony or Tondu, in which people bake and cook. That's why they came to conclusion that probably this area Yes, served as a refrigerator for, uh, sorry, as a kitchen for people. They used to cook here. By the way, here you can see letters and numbers. What does it mean? If you enter any uh, cave first and if you uh, put the um, password there that holds these numbers, you will get more information, more detailed information about every quarter in this area, how they came to this conclusion. Besides that, they found that until the cave, I will continue the story there. Please pay attention on the ground. You will see a sign of a plate which is carefully dig underground. What does it mean? Making a wine is a long process, but in fact, when the plate is made of clay, you need to burn the walls of the plate uh, so the wine should not be, uh, should not retain the taste of the plate. Otherwise, it will be spoiled. That's why people need to burn with alcohol the walls of plates. Also there we have a small type of a plate which is garas. What we find out. Please remember. 
remember the name because you will not find this type of a stone elsewhere than in Armenia. The uniqueness of the stone is that it's like corals. It's growing. Every six to seven months, not detected exactly, it's growing centimeter by centimeter. And unfortunately, we cut part of the stone because it was closing the entrance. <laughs> but uh, why it's growing? First of all, as you remember, I said that the walls of the cave are wet. And secondary, here we have very powerful. We take the stone carefully and we use it to make jewelry, especially we mix it with a silver and we get precious type of a stone, which is quartz or quartzia, and that's why it's quite pricey nowadays. Wash your hands and cup, or you can come and take your seats up. 